Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we will discuss how we can create our own project in OpenVINO. So creating a project in OpenVINO is kind of a bit of complex thing because you need to link, I mean you need to add paths to all the libraries and the DLLs in the OpenVINO on which your project will depend. This might take a lot of time because there are lots of libraries in the OpenVINO plus uh, you might face issues while building the building your project because you can't be sure that all the libraries have the correct path. So the easiest possible way for this is to pick one of the demos from the OpenVINO, make it as your base project, build it and customize it as per your requirement. So in this video, we will pick pedestrian tracker demo as one of, as our base project. Uh, so this Pedestrian tracker demo is basically a person detection model plus the tracking. Uh, so we'll pick this as our base project. Then we'll try to build it and we'll uh, open it in the Visual Studio so that we can edit its source files and uh, keep on uh, customizing it. So let's first go into the release directory where all the binaries are present. And uh, so this is the release directory. And you can see it also has a samples or solution file. Uh, we can open it in Visual Studio. So let me open this in Visual Studio first. So open your Visual Studio and uh, click on open projects or solution. Go to the directory and open samples or solution. So this is basically going to load all the samples in our Visual Studio. So as you can see here, all the samples and the demos have been loaded. Now we can pretty much open any demo we want and we can keep on um, editing its source files. Now the problem with this approach is because once you are once you are done customizing the project as per your own need, you need to build it. So as long uh, so when when you start building the solution this is going to take a lot of time because all the demos are linked to the solution and this is again going to take a lot of time so what we are going to do is we'll ignore all the uh, demos and we will only keep one demo which is uh, our pedestrian tracker demo so in this way uh, only we will only work on this particular code and uh, while building this code as well it, it's, it will not take much time so let me close the solution for now and let's do one thing. Let's go back to our uh, Intel software tools and the samples directory. Okay, first, let's first initialize the environment. Done. Now deployment tools, inference engine, samples. Now we'll, we'll copy all these files and we'll paste this in We will paste this in another directory and I've created a directory named samples.backup. Uh, we obviously don't want to delete all the demos. We might need them in future. So we'll paste all our samples here. In the meanwhile, let me delete all the files from this directory as well okay I think this is still happening Okay, so now uh, I'll copy the pedestrian tracker demo, which is going to our base, which is going to our base uh, project. I will copy two more uh, projects as well, which is one is the third party, and another one is the bench. Uh, no, another one is common, and I will copy these two files as well because these are the two main port files. So let me first copy this in samples directory. So the the main idea here is we will keep only one demo project which we are going to edit as per our requirement so this will this will be our main project and 
because this project needs these two directories as well so we are keeping these two files as well along with these two files because these are the cmake file and this is the file which we will use for building our solution what next we can do is we can edit this name uh, the name of the project to our own project uh, but in that case you will also have to edit the cmake file as well uh, so i think uh, let's do that as well so i'll name um, i'll name this file as this project as let's say okay so save failed so yeah i think uh, we need to open the notepad in the in the, as a admin then only we'll be able to edit this file no worries we'll open command prompt and let's navigate to where the notepad is installed notepad plus plus let me copy this yeah file open and let's open this file so now i will change its name to my open vino project and will save it let me also copy this close this close this also close this and let's also change the name of the directory to oops my open we know project perfect so this is done uh, we have also updated we have also updated the name in the cmake file as well so next thing we need to do is we just need to run this build sample file and uh, this will then create the binary for our open we know project in the release directory so i'll open this and let me move into this directory and let's build this so now ideally because we only have one project in our solution so it should not take much time okay so this is done uh, you can see that the build has succeeded with the zero warnings and the zero error and uh, let's go to the release directory and you can see that we only have binary for our open vino project which we just uh, renamed and we can also open this sample solution in our in the visual studio and we can pretty much start uh, modifying the customizing the solution uh, the source files as per our requirement so i'll open the project yes so you can see it only has our open window project i'll make this project as startup project because this is the one which we are going to work and you can see that it also has source files i can click on main.cpp file and now we can start customizing this project as per our uh, requirement so this is how you can create your own project it's not actually a creating your own project but it's simply using one of the demos and making it as your own project uh, this is the best uh, easy way i can think of because this already contains uh, links and paths to all the libraries and the dll which the open we don't need so you can also build this solution from here uh, it won't take much time now because we only have only one uh, solution one project in our solution so in the next video we will edit all this uh, code and uh, we'll understand how it's working and then we'll put some extra things in it as per our requirement so i guess that's all for this video uh, thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel